What's up, Grot? You look a little, uh, bemused. I just finished screening tonight's Crypt episode. Hmm, that explains everything. <laughs> yeah, is it another horror classic? Well, you know, I'm really not sure what to make of it. Welcome to the Space Bar, everybody. Tonight's Crypt episode features uh, two really good actors, uh, Bill Paxton and the always creepy Brad Dourif. Oh, man. He scared the photons out of me in Exorcist 3. <laughs> yeah, well, it's about a guy who's done some time in prison. When he gets out, he goes out for revenge against the ice cream guy who sent him there. It's called People Who Live in Brass Hearses. Okay, the ice cream guy thing sounds a little weird. But other than that, sounds kind of cool. A great cast and a cool Joel's Bronson-esque revenge plot. What's your problem with it, Shellhead? Well... Come on, God, spit it out. Bill Paxton eats an entire stick of butter. What? what? Bill Paxton eats an entire stick of butter. Oh, man, that's disgusting. Gross, I can't watch that. I'll, I'll hurl. I'm out of here. Be sure to stick around for tonight's Space Bar feature, Enemy Mine, starring Dennis Quaid and Lou Gossett Jr. But right now, hold on to your stomachs, kitties. It's, uh, it's kind of gross. It's people who live in brass hearses from the crypt on your Space Bar. <laughs> okay, I could handle the stick of butter thing, but jeez! I think I'm scarred for life. What do you find so funny, metalhead? Oh man, I thought I'd seen it all. Oh, that was hilarious. Siamese twins joined. That's the ass. <laughs> That's pure genius. Oh man. I gotta tell you, I got a new respect for these Crip guys. <laughs> Come on, it was disgusting. <laughs> a woman got a hook in the head and a guy got his brains blown out. I, blown I don't out. think I can handle too much more of this. What I find is disgusting is the fact that <laughs> uh, this show uh, keeps assembling these amazing casts and then wastes them. Oh, in more ways than one. <laughs> Waste them. <laughs> That's good. Simon, you are completely <laughs> twisted out of shape. Oh, it's my special job. <sighs> Be sure to stick around, everybody. Uh, tonight, we've actually got a really great Space Bar movie for you. It's uh, Dennis Quaid and Lou Gossett Jr. starring in Enemy Mine. Stick around. That's up soon. <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh. Okay. So what do you figure would happen if two sworn enemies were stranded together on the same planet? Well, I guess it would depend who the enemies were. Yeah, like Oprah and, say, Letterman? Or the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Montreal Canadiens. Sylvester and Tweety? Simon and Tim Burton. Don't get me started. No, 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 no. It's a human and an alien. What, like a Vulcan? Oh, lucky! Uh, forget it. <laughs> Tonight's Space Bar feature, everybody, is an overlooked gem of a movie from 1985 called Enemy Mine. It was directed by Wolfgang Peterson and based on a novella by Barry Longyear. It's got great characters and really cool special effects. Are you, uh, you sure it's a spitball movie? Oh, yeah. Dennis Quaid and Louis Gossett Jr. star in Enemy Mine on the Space Bar. Wow. It's hard to believe that under all that makeup is an Academy Award winner. That's right. Lou Gossett Jr. won an Oscar for uh, An Officer and a Gentleman. So what? Doesn't anyone remember Iron Eagles 1 through 4? Well, uh, a man's got to eat, Simon. Oh, speaking of hungry... We weren't. Yeah, I know. I was making a clever play on words. You know, the country where this movie was shot? Hungary? Oh, I get it. Yeah, well, actually, this movie was originally shot in Iceland. But, uh, well, the film company, they pulled the plug and fired the director and hired on Wolfgang Peterson, and he decided to shoot the entire movie top to bottom over again in Hungary. So no clever play on words for Iceland? No smart-ass segue? Uh, well... Well, let me see if I can set you up. Bjork! Simon, that was rude. Excuse yourself. This is painful. So, how dumb do you figure studios think the average viewer is? I'm an average viewer. Do we really need to answer that question now? Allow me to make my point. The title of this movie, for example, Enemy Mine, which of course means my enemy. You know, the word mine in the title is possessive, it's not an object. So? 
Well, the studios thought that the viewers would get confused, so they made the writer put in a subplot about a mine. Well, all you have to do is look at Tim Burton's Planet of the Apes or the remake of Rollerball to see how dumb the average studio executive is. Back to enemy mine, everybody. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> You know, Grot, I don't really think you should try talking like Lou Gossett Jr. Uh, apparently he's been practicing gargling with saliva since he was a kid. Thought it'd be a nice touch for his character. Gross! So where is he these days? Uh, searching database. Well, he's done some smaller projects lately. I can't seem to locate him in the mainstream. Hmm, so wearing a full head prosthetic leads to career suicide then. Well, I... Um, excuse me, I, I need to call my agent. See you next time on the space bar, everybody.